It's like we're live. Like we're right? live. We're live. Let me fix my camera. I'm right. falling down. Hey, everybody. We'll get started in just a second. Everything's uh, firing up, as we say in Pittsburgh. Firing. The fire and iron. Fire it up. Fire it up. Whoop. All right. I think we're ready. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode number 59 of the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show Podcast. We're your weekly trivia game show podcast recorded live each week on Facebook. We have four players calling in from around the world. Uh, we got a really solid format put together. We have three rounds of trivia. Uh, we're going to go... Uh, we're going to double down on what we did last week because last week we did one hundred dollar. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question. Can you guess what we're doing this week? Well, Two hundred dollar. Like who wants to be a millionaire? Questions. That's right. Uh, we're going to double down on that. So we're going to see. Can you answer two questions from the two hundred dollar category of who wants to be a millionaire without the multiple choices? Uh, tonight's players are Jack with a K, Tim. Jack with a C that you're familiar with, and Rick with a K as well. So we're going to jump right into it. Jack with a K, you're up first, and we're going to meet you in the second round. But what we do is we jump right into it. We're going to the $200 questions from the game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So here we go. Jack, in which country did Fidel Castro take power in 1959? I'm going to go with Cuba. Cuba is correct. I'd also accept Cuba. 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 Oh, okay. All right. We're going to go Sounds good. over to Tim. All right. You need the sound effects. Dun, dun, do, 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 do. Tim, which area of London, England, shares its name with Bill Clinton's daughter? That would be Chelsea. Chelsea is correct. Over to Jack. Jack without the K, the original Jack, OG Jack, as we call him. Jack, the face of which actor appears on his own brand of salad dressing? Paul Newman. Paul Newman is correct. Over to Rick. Rick, what is the name of the NFL football team from Miami? She, uh, the Dolphins, I believe. The Dolphins, that is correct. Over to Jack. Jack with a K. What breed of dog was named after a state in Mexico? Uh, I'm going to go with the Chihuahua. Chihuahua is correct. Jack sweeping the first round. Over to Tim. Which Shakespeare character was the famous lover of Juliet? That has to be Romeo. Romeo is correct. Jack. Which animals are said to have nine lives? Cats. Cats, correct. And Rick, can you keep the sweep going? Which substances found in some foods is also used to stiffen shirt collars. Starch. Starch is correct. You guys have swept round one. You've received all eight points, two points apiece. Everybody is tied, which means we're moving over to the hot seats. We're going to bring in Jack with a K, new caller tonight. Let's see, Jack. Jack, welcome to the show. Thanks for calling in. First time caller. Yeah, thanks for having me. Where are you calling in from? I'm calling in from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City. Well, welcome to the show. Have you listened to the podcast before? I have. Uh, I've listened probably to about the last uh, 20 episodes or so. Oh, nice, nice. So you're kind of familiar with the format where the format is. There really isn't much of a format. Yeah, I, I am aware. I think we. I think I started listening when you were doing the like the the mega bonuses at the end, and uh, it just kind of, it just changes every week, and that's fine with me. Yeah, <laughs> we always do three rounds, but the structure within the three rounds can change at any time, and that's what mm-hmm. you're going to find out tonight because you're going to do uh, three. You everybody gets the same three categories. This week it's tri bonds, a word quiz, and a monopoly question. 
And then at the end of that, you'll have a five-point bonus question in which you'll have 10 seconds to name five things on a list. Are you ready? All right. I am ready. All right, Jack. Uh, try bonds, or I'll give you a, a series of three clues. you got to tell me what ties those all together. So here it is. Fly, feather, welter. What ties those gonna, three things together? We're going to go with weight. Weight is correct. We'll go with weight. It's the correct answer is weight classes in boxing, but that is weight is the answer I'm looking for. All right, your word quiz question. This is a leafy stalk plant or a really cool thing to draw on graph paper. So this is a homophones word quiz. Leafy stalk plant or a really cool thing to draw on graph paper. Uh, um, we're going to go with uh, vine. That's all I got. Vine. Incorrect. It is a maze or maze. Oh, so gotcha. You can, you can draw a maze on graph, graph paper or a maze as in corn. Got so it. Your, your third question here, your Monopoly question, name two of the four Monopoly railroads. Uh, so we've got the B&O and the Reading. That's uh, correct. You could also went with Short Line or Pennsylvania. So you're at four points total right now. We have a five-point bonus question. I'll read the question. I'll say go, and then you'll have 10 seconds to answer. It's a lot of time there to get out the five things. So here we go. Jack, name five foods manufactured in the shapes of animals and go. We're going to go with crackers, uh, SpaghettiOs, uh, cookies, cakes. Cookies, uh, time. Time is up at cookies. I got you three more points. I do. <laughs> Sometimes the, the clock gets you there. Let's see. Yeah. But it's still a pretty good chunk. You're at seven so far. Uh, seven right now. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and call in Tim to the show. Tim. What's up? Welcome back, Tim, calling in. Uh, it was two weeks in a row, or was it? Uh, I, think I, missed, I think I missed the last one. I forget, though. Nice. Another Pittsburgh representing tonight. Yeah. Uh, you, got, you have a battle ahead of you with Kansas City and uh, Texas for sure is out there, out there hunting for Pittsburgh. All right. <laughs> All right. So we, you have the same three categories, tri bonds, word quiz, monopoly. The hot round right now is seven points. You got to beat Jack with seven. Here we go. Yeah. Your tri bond tonight. Again, that's a series of three clues that ties together uh, to one answer. So it's bubble jet, dot matrix, daisy wheel. Uh, those are types of uh, printers. Printers, correct. Your word quiz question, homophones word quiz. When a ball comes at you or a chair a king sits on. Throw, it'll be thrown. Thrown. Thrown or thrown, you could say. Oh, Either it's... one's accepted. And your monopoly question, this is multiple choice. Which of the following was not once a Monopoly piece? Not a Monopoly piece, right. Lantern, purse, sled, rocking chair. Oh, man. So these are different, like, versions of the game. I'm going to have to go with, uh, I'll go with rocking chair. It doesn't seem like that would be one. Rocking chair is incorrect. It's the sled. Oh, the okay. Sled. okay. The wheel, wheelbarrow. It was a wheelbarrow. I was thinking, but yes, that was one. All right, your five point bonus question. I'll read you. It's a, it's a name five. I'll give you the category. You have ten seconds to name five things when I say go. All right. And I'm looking for name five types of dental procedures and go. Oh, man. Um, so be root canal, uh, cavity fill. Capping, uh, bra braces, 
And and time, time. You got to eight points. Eight points puts you in the first. Jack is in second now with seven. We'll see if that's enough to hold on. All right. Nice work there. We're going to pull in Jack with a C. Well, actually, both Jacks have Cs, if you know anything about spelling. <laughs> um, but your Jack is no K. And th those questions are a lot harder than you would think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. I, th I think I have a nice format going and a nice structure of the show. Uh, yeah. There's some challenge going on. It's not super easy. You're breezing through it. Um, but it's a, it's a lot of fun here. Oh, absolutely. And are you ready for yours? Let's do it. The hot seat. We got Tribon's word quiz and Monopoly. So your Tribon tonight is fire, nut, saltine. What ties those three things together? Oh, I was thinking crackers, but... <laughs> That's I'll go with crackers. Um. Crackers always follow your gut. It is firecracker, nutcracker, saltine crackers. Crackers is the correct answer. Nice work. Another name for a rabbit or an '80s metal rock band. It can't be the Jacks. So. <laughs> there would be too many Jacks on one show. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is skip it. Skip it. It is. Well, you've heard of the tortoise and the hare. Oh, my God. And you have hair, yes. hair metal. Hair yes. metal from the 80s. Yes. Well, these homophones. We're going to do a homophones night because these are killing everybody tonight. And... Your Monopoly question, how much do you get for pass and go 200. on a regular game of Monopoly? <laughs> 200 is correct. Uh, you're also at four points going into the five-point bonus question. So has everybody else been tonight? So here we go. You'll have 10 seconds once I read the category. Jack, I need you to name five items that come in a spray can and go. Paint. Bug repellent, um, uh, the stuff you put on the walls, insulation, uh, things that, uh, shit. Hey, <laughs> time. Hey, you got seven points. You are both jacks at seven. Tim's at eight. It's all going to come down to Rick from Houston to determine if we're going to go to a sudden death tiebreaker. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. We're going to we're going to bring in Rick. If you're out there watching tonight, go ahead and leave a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. I'm stuck. Oh. Zero. <laughs> What's that, Rick? I, I can't see the screen. I can see you. No, it just says going live in zero. Well, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Can you, do you trust me? Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Rick, Rick, welcome back to the show. Uh, thanks for coming in. I know you're filling in tonight, and we're glad. Uh, we're definitely glad you can make it. We have a full house tonight, and we have Rick from Houston. All right, hey, glad to be back. <laughs> you still taking in that Super Bowl? Well, yeah, a little bit disappointed. I was a Brady fan, so. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm right, well, moving right into the questions. We don't even discuss the. Rest. Dude, <laughs> no. I catch a football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what my favorite part was when the Eagles out Brady Tom Brady. That was my yeah, favorite part. Good. That was really good. I got to give them that. All right. So, Rick, we have Tribon's Word Quiz and Monopoly. Are you ready? I think you're going to like this first one here. Your Tribon tonight Superfly, The Body, The Macho Man. Wrestlers. Wrestlers is correct. Over to Ooh. your. your <laughs> Your word quiz. That was Ric Flair. Let's see. Yeah. To, uh, your word quiz. <laughs> to lose your voice or an animal that runs the Preakness Stakes. <sighs> to lose your voice 
or an animal that runs the horse, your little horse. Horse is correct. Jesus. <laughs> or we also would have accepted horse. That's a <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke I wanted to make in all four rounds, and I forgot about it. All right. Rick, what kind of hat is the Monopoly, is the hat, wait, what kind of hat is the Monopoly playing piece? Uh, top hat? Top hat is correct. All right, Rick. You are at five. Eight, nine gets you to first. Eight ties you for first. And seven will cause a terrible three-way tie, and I don't know how to beat that yet. So here we go. I'm going to read you your category. It's a name five. I'm going to need you to name five breakfast cereal mascots and go. Tony the Tiger, the, the Fruit Loop, uh, Toucan Sam, uh, the uh, Rice Krispie Treat guys, uh, Lucky the Rabbit, uh, the Tricks Rabbit. Uh, shit. <laughs> I, I give you the Tricks Rabbit. I don't the lucky or the the three the, you said the Rice Krispie guys, yeah. which I would need their names, which would be Snap Crackle Pop. Pop, yeah. And then there was one other one you you just <laughs> briefly described, but you got eight. You are tied for first. That is going to move Tim and Rick into the final round. Let me pull back uh, the two Jacks. I want to thank them for being on the show tonight. <laughs> Oh, it was a good time. Oh, Always was a, a good time. That was two good rounds. Really, it's only one point is the difference tonight between getting in the final or not. It's eight to seven. Those are pretty fair questions, pretty balanced. It was a good time. Um, he did yeah, good. Had a great time. Yeah, yes, you can feel free to stick around. You can still watch the show. Uh, oh, either definitely here going to. Or on, yeah, either here or on Facebook, uh, if we're on Facebook Live. Uh, but I'll, I'm going to put you in the lobby. Hang out in the lobby. We'll, we'll, I'll bump you back in after the show. Sounds good. Thanks for calling in. Ding! There's the ding. The little bell ring, yeah? Bell rings in. All right, Rick. Oh, man. So here we go. We're going to have a fun final round. I thought last Uh, week's final was pretty good with the the Back to the Future. Um, It was Back to the Future and the, the... the, oh, the Back to the Future timeline with the real timeline of America. Oh, yeah, it was great. Did Rick play, did Rick play the last show? No. No. Nah. Okay. I didn't see the last one. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're in the final round. Fight! Welcome back, to, welcome back to the final round. We have Tim and Rick in the final tonight. They are both tied at eight. They will keep the same order. So Tim will go first. Rick will go second. Uh, we, all we do is we just keep the same order we were in because nobody has an advantage with points. So nobody, if we do, you would get to pick if you wanted to go first or second. So the order stays the same. And so in this first round, we're going to do, or the first part of the final round, we're going to do movie multiple choice. So I'm going to, the first six questions are all going to be movie multiple choice. You can answer without the choices for two points. Or with your choices for one point. Ooh, switching it up. Yeah, let me start that over because I'm going to edit that out. All right, we're going to do movie multiple choice in the first half of the final round tonight. And as you know, on Stuff I Never Knew, we do multiple choice a little differently. I'm going to, for these first six questions, I'm going to read you the question. You can take a guess, right or wrong, and if you get it without your choices, you will get two points. If I read you your choices and you get it right, you'll get one point. But if you're wrong, your opponent can steal for one point with better odds at getting the multiple choice correct. So, Tim, you are up first. Are you ready? Um, Yep. All right, Tim. Marissa Tomei won an Academy Award for her performance in what film? This will be for two points without the choices. I, I know. I actually know this one. I don't know a lot of Marissa Tomei movies, but this is. Um, she won an Academy Award for My Cousin Vinny. My Cousin Vinny is correct, right off the bat. It's one of the few Marissa Tomei things I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we got lucky there. Over to Rick. Rick, in the 1977 comedy Smokey and the Bandit, what kind of car? 
does Bandit drive? Uh, that would be the awesome Pontiac Trans Am. Trans Am is correct. Fight swinging right back. Nice. Back to Tim. Tim, what is the name of Richie Valens' girlfriend in the 1987 drama <laughs> La Bamba? <laughs> wow. La Bamba, I know, is that guy, guy who plays on, uh, on Conan as a backup <laughs> player. Uh, I'm going to have to go with, let's go with Susie. No idea. Incorrect. Is it oh, Peggy Sue? Sure is it Peggy Sue? Susie? Donna? <laughs> Michelle. Uh, let's go. Let's go, Donna. Donna is correct. Uh, correct. Uh, I didn't. Luck. Susie was really in the choices that I had on there. I didn't, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I will push funny. him out. You know, just that's an auto win. That's funny that she wasn't choice. All right. All right. Here we go, Rick. We. I right now the score is Tim with three, Rick with two. Rick, Marilyn Monroe's famous pose with air blowing up her skirt was taken during the filming of what movie? Some Like It Hot. Incorrect. Was it Some Like It Hot? The Seven Year Itch? Gentlemen Prefer Blondes? The Misfits? The Seven Year Itch? Seven Year Itch is correct. We are tied. Back to Tim. Nice. Your last final round here, or your your last uh, movie multiple choice. Tim, two fallen angels that devise a scheme to get back in the, the... Wait, let me start that over. Tim, two fallen angels devise a scheme to get back into heaven in which film? Uh... I am drawing a blank on this. Um, let's go Angels in the Outfield, but that's not right. Angels in the Outfield is incorrect. Is it City of Angels, Knocking on Heaven's Door, Dogma, Oh God, Book Two? Okay. Uh, do- let's, let's say Dogma. Dogma is correct. Yeah, I've seen that's All right. And Rick. John Travolta plays Vincent Vega in what film? I think that's Saturday Night Fever. Saturday Night Fever is incorrect. Is it Get Shorty, Pulp Fiction, A Civil Action, Mad City? Uh, shoot. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Is that right? Is correct. We are tied four to four, which is going to make the fast finish so much better because if <laughs> you remember last week, I'm sorry, actually, we're tied 12 to 12. You already had eight points. So you're, there's some gambling going on here. So let me explain the format that we've been doing. All right. We are at tied at 12 to 12. So in these fast finish rounds, you're each going to get four questions. Now, Stealing is open to all at any time. You're going to be given a category and then given three clues. If you answer correctly on the first clue, you'll get three points. On the second clue, two points. And on the third clue, you'll get one point. So I'll give you a category and I'll read a series of clues. And depending on how you answer is how many points you'll earn. However, at any time, your opponent can steal simply by yelling out the answer. It's so like, if, yeah, a free if, for all. Uh, that's right. If they're right, they'll get your points. They will steal your points. But if they're wrong, they will lose the point value of whenever Ooh. they yell answer, Ooh. whenever they yelled out their answer. So if it was a two point value question and they yell out the wrong answer, we're going to subtract two points from their total. Ouch. Nice. Okay. I, like, I like that. Any questions? Dun, 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 dun. So cool. when it is your turn, you can guess each and every time. Okay. When you guess as trying to yeah. steal, you get one chance to steal and you'll get locked out. 
Can you guess multiple guesses or can you only guess one? Like say is my question. Can I only say one guess or can I No, when you guess you one things out. Once you guess once, I move to the next clue. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. Yep. We are tied twelve to twelve. Tim, it starts with you. I'm looking for which American rapper. So we're looking for an American rapper here. He is widely considered to be the first mainstream rap artist. I'm going to go Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, incorrect. Incorrect. Remember, Rick, you can yell at any time. Okay. But you're also gambling when you yell. Am I losing points for that? No, you don't lose points. Tim, you can answer every single time. When it's your question. Oh, so you can't lose points when it's your question. Okay. Correct. You're good. Tim, he made a huge fortune, but went bankrupt because of dwindling album sales and a lavish lifestyle. Uh, Now I'm going to say Tupac. Tupac. Incorrect. Last clue here. He is famous for flashy outfits and his trademark baggy pants. Oh, okay. Well, this is uh, that's MC Hammer then. MC Hammer is correct. Tim, with the point. I guess I was thinking late. I wasn't thinking that early. All right. Over to Rick. Which geographical location? We're looking for a geographical location. It's considered to be the coldest place on Earth. Uh, the South Pole. The South Pole. Incorrect. It is almost twice the size of Australia. I'm going to say, I'm going to try to steal North Greenland, though. <laughs> uh, well, Tim, Tim tried to steal Greenland. Greenland is incorrect. Uh, gamble in that one. Tim lost two points, so you're down to 11. Right. And, Rick, your final clue, it does not have any permanent human residence only research stations. Can I, can I still steal or not? You get one chance for you're locked out now. Oh, okay. Uh, Antarctica. Antarctica is correct. South correct. Antarctica. Couldn't accept the South Pole. Sorry there. <laughs> I understand. And Tim, we're looking for a kitchen appliance. A kitchen appliance. Which kitchen appliance? This technology was discovered accidentally. In 1945, when testing new radars, uh, I'm going to say the microwave for the first. Microwave first is correct. Tim jumps back into the lead with 14 points. Rick, you have 13. Man. And you're getting all the geography questions tonight, Rick. We're looking for a desert. Which <laughs> desert? It's the third largest desert in the world. The Mojave Desert? Mojave, incorrect. Your second clue. It is the world's largest hot desert. Sahara? Sahara is correct. Rick jumps into the lead with 15 points. 15 for Rick, 14 for Tim. Tim, we're looking for a mammal. Which mammal? It is the only mammal with oval red cells. (laughs) <laughs> uh, <laughs> with oval red cells um say the let's say an elephant elephant incorrect they were unsuccessfully used as pack animals in the usa in the 19th century camels camel rick steals with the camel Right ahead of Tim. Uh, I couldn't hear him. See, I, you're breaking up, but he, he still it? He did. He, did. he Rick said camel. Uh, like, right as soon as he said the L, you said camel. Uh, good one. Two points for Rick. All right, so Rick has 17. Tim has 14. And Rick, we're looking for a food crop. Which food crop? It's the world's fourth largest food crop. Wheat. Wheat is incorrect. Rick, it was domesticated in Peru thousands of years ago. I'm going to say rice, steel. Rice, incorrect, incorrect. 
Well, I, had, I had a gamble on it. You have to take the chance, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear my corn? The corn is incorrect. Your last clue, the Spanish introduced it to Europe in the latter half of the 16th century. Tomato. Tomato. The other O, potato. Ah. Potato is the right answer there. All right. Back to Tim. It is. What do we got for the, what do we got for the score, Jeff? 17 for Rick, 12 for Tim. We oh, still have shit. one, two questions left. So there's six total points available. It is possible. The window's still open here, Tim. All right. All right. Which infamous criminal? We're looking for an infamous criminal. He appears on South Park as a comic character. Um, as a comic here. Oh, Saddam Saddam Hussein. Incorrect. Guns and Roses and other famous artists have covered his songs. Wait, I couldn't hear the last part. You said. Guns and Roses and other famous artists have covered his songs. Charlie Manson. Charlie Manson is. Correct. Correct. Nice, nice deal. And Rick, your last question. I'm looking for a mythical creature. He was killed by the Greek hero Theseus. Can you repeat it, yeah? He was killed by the Greek hero Theseus. The Minotaur. Minotaur is correct, Rick. Nice. Coming out um, swinging in the last two questions. Big couple oh, of rounds there. Nice. Yeah, great game. I really like this new format. I think yeah, it, had, it, was, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. The biggest challenge, I think, tonight, we had little audio issues. Yeah, it was cutting out a bit on me at the end there. So I don't I have to work on that. But that's the only part of it that I think uh, isn't working. But otherwise, uh, it's a fun round. It was really close. Uh, you had to gamble there, Tim. There's no way around that. I was actually going to say corn for the steel there, Rick, on that one, but and then you, you know, I said rice and you said corn, so I, w- I would have missed it either way on that steel. Yeah, uh, yeah. vegetable one was tough, that's for sure. Yeah, at that point I had to go for it because uh, I think he was up one. Oh, I didn't have to go for it, but I figured it was worth the shot. Right, they just brought so much vegetables from the New World. I right, know there's only a few. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I want to thank all my players tonight. We had new caller Jack from Kansas City, along with Tim, Jack, and Rick in the final round. We had Tim and Rick very close. Lots of gambling, lots of fighting going on in that round. Uh, but Rick came out swinging on the last two questions and pulled away with the W. Thanks so much for playing tonight, and we'll see you next time. Take care, man. Good.